There's just all this rhetoric about this trial in New York City and we just can't have it here. Why not? The terrorists are allowing to watch us push aside and we're allowing them to win. We're letting the terrorists dictate the American judicial process because we're scared again. The White House hasn't announced anything officially, but it may be moving the terror trial out of New York City and maybe even out of federal court. Press Secretary Robert Gibbs left the door wide open on that. And Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is going to meet justice and he's going to meet his maker. In a, in a federal court uh, or be, in a military commission? He will be brought to justice and he is likely to be executed for the heinous crimes that he committed in killing and masterminding the killing of 3,000 Americans. That you can be will sure of. Will it be of. in a federal courtroom or is, it, uh, is there a possibility the administration will we'll back yeah. we'll backtrack on that one and go well, to the military Well, the attorney system. general believes uh, that the best place to do this is in an American courtroom. All right, I'm not trying to pick a scrap with the White House, but I would really like the White House say, you know what, we're back in our attorney general. This is the decision and we are sticking with it. Instead, they're running scared because Mayor Michael Bloomberg and Senator Chuck Schumer, well, they flipped. And some Democrats are all too willing to run to the right on this, even Evan Bayh of Indiana on Fox News Sunday. The attorney general is a good man. Uh, none of us are perfect, and I think the decision to have these trials in New York, as I said, sounded good in theory way back when, but in practice, it just was not the right thing to do. Hold it right there. So we have now allowed this conversation to be reduced to whether Eric Holder is qualified, whether he's a good guy or not, whether he's a good man. And oh, by the way, the righties are saying that, gosh, he ought to come down and testify in front of the Congress so we know exactly where Eric Holder's coming from. My friends, the foundation of this country is the three branches of government. Our moral commitment to the truth is in our court system. I don't think it speaks well for the White House if they don't believe in our judicial system that we can't get a successful conclusion here. Whatever happened to bring it on, righties? Nothing could be better for this country than to have this trial in lower Manhattan and our justice system on the pedestal of the world, to, for all the entire world to see. This is how America does it. To bring KSM to justice and to stay safe. You know, I think that's how you win the war on terror. But now we're, we're afraid, we gotta move it. We can keep our people safe without compromising our principles. Isn't that what President Obama ran on? But to shrink and whine and hand wring, oh, we can't do that because of security and, and, and it's fear. I, I, whatever happened to all these tough New Yorkers that were gonna, whatever happened to that bullhorn moment that President Bush had standing down at the rubble talking about how we're gonna bring these people to justice? Where was all this consternation about the Musawi trial when it was in Virginia? Oh. The citizens here in New York are they're just a lot more valuable than the ones down in Virginia. Were we not a target there? Maybe I'm wrong on this. I don't think I am. I think we're making the wrong decision to even entertain this. It should be exactly where the crime was committed and take it to them and do it in civil court. Get your cell phones out, folks. I want to know what you think about this tonight. Tech survey question is, do you want to see the alleged 9-11 mastermind stand trial in New York City? Text A for yes and B for no to 622-639. I'll bring you the results later on in the program. Joining me now is New York Congressman Anthony Weiner. I, you know, Congressman, I don't even know where you stand on this. If, if I'm wrong on this, let me know. And, and, and where do you stand? Should we have the trial here in New York? Or should the trial be moved for all the things that have been stated by the conservatives? Well, I'm not the same volume as you, but I basically come down in a similar place. Look, my view is that we've politicized terror much too much in this country. We in New York, frankly, have terror trials all the time. We have two going on right this instant. And the question that I ask is that why is it we've had this guy, we've held him for six years and he hasn't been brought to justice, he hasn't been put to death. And the reason is we've been tying ourselves in legal knots trying to come up with some construct that allows us to put him on trial that have twice been struck down by the courts. We have the best prosecutors anywhere. We have the best police force in New York that anyone could find. I don't believe we have to shut down the city in a ring of steel in order to have what is going to be basically a fairly run-of-the-mill trial. He's already admitted to the crime. We just need some place, some venue to take that pleading, and then hopefully a jury here in New York will put him to death. Does it make the White House, the Obama administration, look weak if they move this trial and move it out of civil court? 
because all of this has started after the righties started jawing about this, and they're going to pick on Obama, the president, whatever he wants to do. What do you make of this? Well, it's going to be in criminal court, but look, I, I think that the problem is that we have allowed the hysteria to overcome the debate here a little bit. I mean, I think that people have a right to, frankly, to see their criminal justice system work. I agree with, sit down for this one, I agree with Rudy Giuliani when he said during the Massari trial that it was a proud moment for our American justice system and that that guy was brought to justice. This notion that we are going to have to give up all our freedoms here in New York in order to have a trial is just wrong. We're having a trial right now on the, uh, on the driver and chef for Osama bin Laden. Yeah. Most people aren't even aware it's going on. I believe that th this will be ultimately a good moment when a jury of New Yorkers decides the fate of the, so the guy who, who masterminded this. I don't want it to be in the International Court in Hague or someplace else. I want it to be here in New York. This is uh, Senate, Democrat, Senate Republican leader, minority leader Mitch McConnell on this issue. The only time this administration ever cites the previous administration for a precedent is to mention that there were some terrorists tried in U.S. courts. We now know that was a mistake. Uh, that was a mistake by the previous administration. Really? Is that true, Mr. McConnell? Where was your criticism back then? We'll talk about that in a moment. Is this uh, really a situation where we have seen Congress and politics drive this ship? Well, I think it's the responsibility of government to keep people safe. But, you know, much too much, and this isn't just recently, it's going back years now, you know, we're using the hysteria and the fear that I think, frankly, makes our country look weak. We're a powerful country. We're not afraid to yeah. have a trial in New York or anywhere else. I think what we should be doing is, as government officials, we should be saying to the citizens, look, we have the, the competent people to prosecute crimes. The prosecutors at the Justice Department are going to get a conviction here. And I would say to my colleagues who are criticizing this, let us take a step back and let the prosecutors do do their job, let the judges do their job, and to the police department here in New York City, I'm sure they can keep us safe. We protect when presidents come visit kings, the United Nations General Assembly has both of the above here, and we have no trouble keeping people safe. I don't believe we need to shut down our city in order to ensure that we have a fair trial. Congressman, you're level-headed on the issue. Call the White House for me. Great to have you with us tonight. Thank I agree you. with you 100%. Thank you. Congressman Anthony Weiner with us here on The Ed Show.